Nation brings lots of talking animals and strikes gold once again with their newest film, Zootopia. And it's the film that we'll be discussing on this edition of The Real Deal. I'm Kevin Polly, And I'm Brian Hatcher. And uh, today we're taking a look, just a quick little look, at uh, what will I think honestly be easily one of my top ten films of 2016, and that is Disney's Zootopia. Now, Brian, you didn't get a chance to see this one. Not yet. Uh, so this is a solo kind of thing, but I definitely would like you to chime in on some stuff here. Um, Zootopia is one of those films that... On its surface, looks like, okay, talking animal movie where animals are like people. Okay, we've seen that kind of thing with, like, cars and planes and such. But this is a film that is really talking about some very big issues and ends up being one of the, the, the smartest, uh, most thoughtful, most funny, and most touching films I've seen in many, many years. Um, you know, Brian, when we think about Disney, we most of the time, especially as of late, People are, of course, talking about Frozen, and we also think a lot about the Pixar films. But Disney Animation has been kicking out some really cool films. Some of my favorite films in the past 10 years, actually, with films like Wreck-It Ralph and Big Hero 6 and now Zootopia. Um, you know, for you, when you think about Disney and, and looking at this new trend that they're going towards, of course, everything's now, of course, in the CG side. Um, you know, what are some of the things that you think about there when you think about Disney Animation? What makes them so stand out to you? Well, you know, the thing about it is with, with Disney Animation, I mean, story has always been king. You know, it really has. And I think, you know, when Disney partnered... Uh, partnered up with Pixar, I mean, that that even brought the bar even higher. And know? what's funny is this is not a Pixar film. No. It's but not. when you see it, you would swear up and down that it was. Because normally Pixar has been like that sort of bar setter for animation. Yes. Now, of course, John Lasseter left Pixar to help out with the Disney animation team. And through him, they've done these amazing films like Wreck-It Ralph, like Big Hero 6, like Frozen. Um, you know, films that were huge hits. And most people would think, oh, those are Pixar films. Well, they're not. They're Disney animation, which is a really nice return to form. Now, the thing about Zootopia, um, you're going to look at me, I think, when I tell you, when I describe, like, what's so great about this film, you're going to look at me like, they did that? And you're going to be like, yeah, and I'm going to tell you, this is, this is wonderful. Zootopia is honestly Disney's take on the cop buddy action film, <laughs> like a lethal weapon made for kids with talking animals. But this film is so smart. It's such a smart, smart, smart script. And it's a script that is elements of, like, your typical like buddy cop kind of like elements like 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 things you'd see like in a uh, you know like when you think about films like you know Lethal Weapon or Forty Eight Hours you know not that it has that kind of language or intensity but just the idea of like you know two different people they have two different backgrounds you know one's you know by the book one's the loose cannon and they have to come together to solve a bigger issue right this film is that in a nutshell but it's also got political intrigue it's got um, this whole idea on how Society might tell you that you have to be something or that you can't be something because of your size or, in this case, your species. Um, but if you apply yourself, if you really give it all you've got, then who's to say that society's not wrong? And that's a point that they really drive home in this film. But what I found was very interesting is, you know, of course, the big thing of 2016 is the upcoming presidential election. Right. And one of the most divisive figures out there, of course, is Donald Trump and, and his big thing of being very anti-Muslim. And I'm not going to get into too much political discussion here, but there are many people who are like, wow, that's a pretty harsh sentiment because you're basically saying that all Muslims are terrorists because of the actions of a few. Well, in this film, and we're getting to a, just a tiny bit of spoiler territory, I don't want to give too much away, but the idea is in Zootopia, predators and prey, everybody, they're all equal. Everybody lives together. You know, there's the, the mayor of the city is a lion. His, his secretary is a lamb. And so like, and they're friends, and there's no issue, there's no hunting or anything like that. And so that's what's really interesting, is suddenly what would happen in this utopia of animals if a predator lost its, in essence, humanity and went back to its base instincts? And that starts happening around the city. Suddenly, there are creatures who were very friendly with people, or animals, I should say, uh, that are now all of a sudden like attacking anything and everyone. And they don't speak like the humanistic versions. They're not walking upright on two legs. They're on all fours. They're back to very primal, feral mode. And so our main character, Officer Hops, who is fresh out of the police academy, she's a rabbit, and they don't trust her to do anything. There are all these missing cases and, and, and these attacks, and she's put on meter maid duty. Well, through her meter maid duty, she ends up becoming friends, well, somewhat friends. It's, it's a very um, uh, up and down, rocky relationship with a fox. Now, of course, foxes hunt rabbits, and so there's that, don't trust a fox. This rabbit even has like a fox pepper spray type thing on her. 
And so she has her preconceived notions about what a fox is like, and this guy completely shatters them. He has his, his preconceived notions about a rabbit, and she totally shatters those. And together, they come, they come to terms, and they try to help stop this evil injustice that is happening in the city. And it's this whole idea of the whole thing where the predators are basically, like, shunned. You can't trust them. You can't live with them. They need to be put away. We need to, because there's far more prey than there are predators. And this is a very big deal for a Disney film because really and truly it's looking at something that's very much in, in, in the modern pop culture. In, well, not just pop culture, in the modern culture, modern society. This idea of shunning all of those who are one thing because of the actions of a few or because they're different. And this, to me, is where this film really steps up to a whole higher level. It's one of those movies that it's so smart that even though it doesn't beat you over the head with what it's saying, your brain is still picking it up. And that's what I love so much about Zootopia. The animation is amazing, but we know that by now. I mean, really and truly, we know Disney's going to put out great-looking stuff. The 3D aspect of it is fantastic. Great voice talents. You've got Jennifer Goodwin and um, Jason Bateman as your main leads. You've got you know J.K. Simmons as the blustery lion mayor. Uh, you know you've got some real. I mean Shakira is the voice of a, of a gazelle who's a famous pop singer. I mean it's all these cute things are really going on. But there's a bigger story than what you really would think going into it. Now my son and his buddy went with me. Of course we all went together and they loved it. And I will say this. Quite possibly the funniest moment that'll be on film this year involves the fact that the DMV in Zootopia is ran by sloths. <laughs> and that in and of itself is about the funniest thing in the film. And it, it's, I mean, like, the entire audience was, like, clapping and hooting and hollering at how funny that scene is. Every parent is like, oh, my God, it's like real life. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's absolutely one of the single funniest things, and I will just say this, there is a payoff even to all of that in the final scene of the film that literally had the audience applauding. It, it's one of the most charming, smart, funny, uh, even action-packed films that I'll see this year, and it just happens to be an animated film with a bunch of talking animals. Um, but it really is, it's almost like Lethal Weapon and Chinatown uh, for kids. <laughs> Like, and it's weird to say that out loud. And you're looking at me like, what? Yeah, it's weird to hear you say that out loud. <laughs> but it is. It's such a smart film. And I have to give Zootopia. I, I would literally give it like a perfect score. If I'm on a five-star rating, it, it, it's, it's a five-star film. I can't imagine anyone not enjoying this film. I can't imagine kids not loving it because the colors are beautiful, the animals are great, it's got the right mixture of, of comedy and a little bit of scariness when the animals go go feral or predatory. Um, but it's super smart, super funny, and every parent is going to be like, thank you, Disney, for making this movie. Because this is like what I love about things like Adventure Time and Regular Show. Okay, Regular Show in particular, it feels like a show that people in our age range made for adults to watch with their kids. Yeah. And Zootopia really has the vibe of being a film that was really made for adults to watch with their kids, much like Wreck-It Ralph even felt that way because of all the wonderful homages to 80s arcades. Right. Um, and even Big Hero 6 to some extent. It's, it would definitely, in my mind, and I adore Big Hero 6, and I adore, adore, adore Wreck-It Ralph, I would put Zootopia right up there with them as not only being a great animated film and a great Disney film, they're just great films. And each year that those movies came out, they were they were all in my top ten list that year. This one will be no different. Zootopia is one of those movies I honestly haven't stopped thinking about since I saw it. Mm. And so, for those of you watch, or for those of you listening, I should say on this podcast, if you have any I, any chance at all of wanting to see it, go see it. If you have kids, go see it. If you don't have kids, go see it. You don't have to have kids to enjoy a Disney film. That's not that's not what's going on here. This is a film that anybody can enjoy if you just go in and just watch to just be entertained. And really, you'll walk away even with a little bit of thought going on there. And I think that's where I can give this film such high praise. So that's going to wrap it up for this. Let us know if you if you saw Zootopia. would love to hear your thoughts on it in the comments below. Make sure you're following us on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. And again, thank you for joining us in the Mad Attic for this edition of The Real Deal. We'll talk to you later on. I'm Kevin Pauly. And I'm Brian Hatcher. And again, if you get a chance, check out Zootopia. It's really all that in a bag of chips. <laughs>